Hi, it's Richard here. I'm making this writing desk from Walnut. Uh, it's almost finished, just the drawers to do. Uh, the top is done and um, the, main, the main carcass. And I'm going to make a short video to, to show you the uh, joinery method that I used um, when making this table. I used hand tools extensively throughout uh, this, this uh, building process to shape the legs, to plane all the surfaces, um, hand saws to cut the uh, pieces to length and width and so on. But all the joinery I was done with the Festool Domino. And although we know a lot about the Festool Domino and we see it uh, used throughout uh, other construction areas, installations, built-ins and things like that, fine furniture is not something that we associate as much with the Domino. Um, and I used it every single joint in this table which required a mortise and tenon, I used the Festool Domino. And I thought it would be useful to show you uh, a little bit about uh, how, I, how I employed it. So what I'm going to do is focus in on two areas. I'm going to focus in on the top and on one of the corners where the legs meet the aprons and show you how I uh, use the Domino. So the first area is pretty standard. This is a six foot long tabletop made of four pieces of walnut um, on some area you can see the glue line down the middle it's not been cleaned up yet but again once the pieces were planed to, uh, were thickness I used the festal domino aligning uh, registering the domino off the top uh, and I used these little dominoes down each panel to help alignment and that made uh, smoothing the surface uh, very straightforward very effective. So I've got really good um, glue joints, nice and even joints, very simple to plane. So that was a pretty straightforward application of the domino which uh, I'm sure we've seen many times before. So this is the, the base of the table, the legs, the aprons, and it's pretty straightforward uh, traditional construction. You've got the aprons here, tenoned into the legs, and instead of a spacer which butts up a spacer which accounts for the um, increased width of the l leg versus the apron. What I use, I, I leave a gap and I'll explain why in a second. Then you have the runners for the drawers, lower and upper. Uh, the lower ones are wider obviously because they need to support the weight of the drawer. And then my front stretcher, nice and wide, and my lower stretcher here, and my rear, my table rear apron. So the first thing to do, to note, is that I have a nice one eighth of an inch offset um, from the apron into the leg and again I can adjust my domino fence to account for that very straightforward I can just raise this by an eighth of an inch and it gives me a nice consistent uh, registration so I've got an eighth of an inch all the way around and also the front stretches are set back an eighth of an inch from the front of the table legs and again a couple of dominoes on each side and I've used thicker dominoes. These are just for, you know, I've just taped these here just to show you where the dominoes lie. Um, what I would do is I would always register off this face here and so that my top edge is nice and flush. And if there was any discrepancy in the marking, it would happen uh, lower down. Uh, so what I would do is make sure my domino was set to the narrow setting here and here. And again, narrow setting here. And then I'd use a wider setting on this one. So if there were, when I was gluing it up, if there was any discrepancy in the layout, it would occur in this one, not in my key, and my, my principal uh, registration, which is here. Similarly, with the reason I left a space here, is because I like to register my domino fence off this edge here. I, this is my, where the runners butt up against it with the stretchers. That needs to be flush. So again, I'm using a couple of dominoes here and here, uh, here and here. For this one. Once that's put together on each side, both ends of the table, I turn my attention to the stretchers and runners and draw dividers and again I'm registering off this edge here and I'm using the domino on the underside here because I want when the drawer slides in I don't want it to butt up against a lip or something so I want this to be a nice clean uh, plane and again here I'm registering so it's nice and flush. So I've got a couple of dominoes here and here. 
and again here and here and so on. Once that's all put together and I've got my draw dividers in, draw dividers are long grain to long grain so don't need, they don't really need, um, you can put some through tenons if you want through there. I could have done that with the domino mortise straight through, but that's quite a large distance and uh, it's just not necessary. So what I do is I glue, I put, I glue them in and I just nail them down. It's plenty, plenty solid. The main area where the domino comes in useful is to attach this, this section, this sub-assembly, to the ends here. And what I do is I have three dominoes. Let me move this one out of the way. Let's get these out of the way. I have three dominoes here. What I'm mainly concerned about is I've got a one-eighth of an inch offset. So this would be a narrow setting and a narrow setting with a domino holding that in place. This would be a narrow setting. This would be a narrow setting. But this would be a wide setting and this would be a wide setting. When you come to glue it together, if there's any discrepancy in the marking, which really there, there usually isn't, but just in case, you want the, the piece to be moving in this way rather than this, because you don't want to have, say, an eighth of an inch here and a sixteenth of an inch on the other end of the table. That would be difficult. And again, you've got another domino holding the rear apron into the leg there. And also at the, at the lower stretches, similarly, another three dominoes. So the domino makes everything very simple. Um, and I wanted to show that it can be used for fine furniture. And this table is rock solid. I mean, it is not moving in any way. And when that top is placed on it again, and I'll use buttons to attach the tabletop to the uh, carcass here. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful, got some maybe, got some ideas. Thanks very much for watching.